Perl tutorial part 18 the split function and the join function first of all the split function now the split function will split a string of words into a list of of the words so let's create a string called words and say the cat is white. Okay, so the basic form of the split function is we have a pair of brackets equals split function and then second pair of brackets. So in the first brackets we're going to create, we've got four words here, so we're going to create four new variables to represent each word so let's call them word1 w1 word2 word3 and word4 so the will be w1 cat will be w2 etc so in the second pair of brackets now we have two forward slashes so in between the forward slashes we're going to tell the program what to split on so we're going to split each of these words on the space to separate them so therefore we're going to split on the space here so we have a space so then after we have a comma and then simply we tell our program what we're splitting so we're splitting words our variable words and then simply we can print out each word so we can have w1 right up to w4 One, two, three, four. And now we can print out each of these words in the string separately because we've split them and they all have their own variable names. So let's run this. There we are, we have the cat is white. Now we may not know how many words we have to split so what we can do is split our string into an array so let's split our string into an array and print our array okay so the cat is white is our array splitting the words into an array because this sentence could be really long, or it could be a description of some kind if, in case we wanted to check or operate on each word. Okay, now onto the join function. Join is when we can join a list of words into a string. So let's create a new variable called joined equals the join function and then the basic form is a pair of brackets and so first of all between our brackets we're going to join our list of words which we're going to create and have a space separate each one to make it into a string so we put a space there between a pair of quotes a comma and now a second pair of brackets will contain the words we're going to join so let's join a bunch of simple words uh,
black dog. Okay, um, I think maybe we've just gone off to off the right hand side, so I'll just re remove these spaces. It doesn't matter whether the spaces are there or not. Okay, so joined equals join with a space in between these three words. So simply we can print our new variable joined. And that will give us a small sentence, a black dog. A black dog. So that's quite simply the join function and the split function very, very useful.